see it. It's here. I see the game. All right, let me buy it. Play something? Uh, well, we're downloading the game, actually. So we're currently big chilling. Let me check my Valley store. All right, well, I am downloading. Maybe it's time for some Valley with the boys. Wait a sec. What the fuck is Kai in? <gasps> no! I guess I'll have to log on to Lost Ark while I wait. Surely there won't be a Lost Ark queue. All right, all right, here we go. I'm downloading Judgment. And I'm downloading Lost Judgment. Waiting for Kai's game to finish. In a Lost Ark queue. Playing Diablo Immortal. Oh, holy shit! Let's go. Make sure to get my game capture. Here we go. Oh, perfect. Gaming is now. And now. It is time for the grand masterpiece. Wait, is there noise? Sneaky starts up another single player story game. Yeah! Another game to never finish. <laughs> another game on the list. Dude. Is it fucking time? Skilled at action games? Oh yeah! I'm ready for another <laughs> another loud gooey. Oh god. Oh no. Locked to an eternal battle with loud gooey. The ugliest assassin ever. Yes. Yes, I understand completely. We'll absolutely be able to help you out with that. I guarantee you. Ryuzo Genda. Oh, you must be talking about Yagami. Absolutely. We appreciate any interest you might have. But it's just, uh... Wait, Yagami? Wow, you know, must be so nice to be a rock star. Right, Salary chan Gendala, sorry speaking. Yes, Yagami is currently employed by our firm. Same bullshit all day. Guess everyone wants a lawyer who can win, huh? Yagami Sensei. I want to win. Hey, throw me a bone. I never would have won without a hand from these two. Of course you wouldn't have. 99% of these cases end up in convictions. It makes an acquittal a big deal. Even if it was just luck. Talk about a lawyer being a hero. Makes even a former gangster look good. I <laughs> guess so. Wipe that grin off your face. You think you're better than us? I'm no saint. Shh. Could have fooled me. You know, you're not gonna win all of them. Trust me, pal. My record's not... Are you listening? Uh of course. I get the message. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, Shintani's available right now. Yeah, you bet. He's more experienced. Are you hearing that? No, no. Now I'm getting I, uh, tossed your goddamn leftovers. You like <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, man. Okay, and you're sure? He's as skilled as they come, trust me. But well, that no. just can't be right. He hasn't won any cases. You know how rare that is? <sighs> Haven't you heard 99.9% .9 of criminal court cases end with the defendant behind bars? Pretty ridiculous, huh? right? What? Well, 
You still want Yagami, though. <laughs> hey, can it? Oh. Yes. Yes. And you're absolutely sure. I understand. I'll tell him. Who was that? Another call for Yagami Sensei. Oh. They blow up. But the client is. Shinpei Okubo. Mm. Huh? Who? I'm not sure I believe that. Okubo's a free man now. Not anymore. He's been arrested for murder. Come on. We already proved he was innocent, right? It's a new case. He's being processed right now. What they told me is that he stabbed his girlfriend Emmy to death. Emmy? Set the apartment on fire. Okubo would never do that. Emmy John. I just don't understand it. Not Emmy Chan. Okubo. How could he? Oh shit. It's true. He did it. Look at the evidence. Wait a sec. That's fucking... That's the same apartment! Is Yakuza Zero? Oh. Ah. That day, my career as a lawyer died alongside Emi-chan. Both murdered by Shinpei Okubo. Jesus. He's a fucking psycho. Am I blocking that? It says three years later. Come in, Kaito-san. Are you getting close yet? Yep. Right by the Don Quixote. Dude, I love that place. Heading your way now. You just about see our man? Masaharu Kaito. Yep, I got him. He doesn't have a clue, huh? Ah, you're getting good at this. Almost like a pro. Wow, thanks. I always dreamed of being a professional stalker. I'm not sure I'd call it that. You gotta admit, this is crazy, though. A detective tailing another detective? <laughs> you only see that shit on TV. Crazy or not. Or in a... Stay focused. ...video game. Join up with you soon. Okay. Uh-oh. Step aside, old man. Piece of goddamn trash. The asshole, he said no! Oh! Huh? The fuck are you doing? What? Do you want to die, bitch? Yeah. The hell's his problem? What's going on back there, buddy? Uh, looks like I need to teach these punks a little lesson. Need to? Didn't you tell me to keep my head down? Oh, I need to. Hey, who you call pucks, you homeless piece of shit? <laughs> huh? Oh! Sorry, Kaito. I'll see you soon, okay? So much for being careful. Oh! <laughs> it's time to fuck. Hello to him. Man, you seeing this shit? <laughs> okay. 
Our boy's a movie star. Oh, what? Too? How's that? <laughs> <laughs> You're a damn joke. Oh shit. Let's do this thing. <laughs> that reminds me of that one guy is fucking yelling. Oh shit. Classic fisting combat. Oh, wants me to destroy himself. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Give me this weapon. Ow! Jesus! What the? F Get off me! Bitch. I mean, I totally kill people in this game. This is a different game. You wouldn't get it. Who, who are you? Who are you, man? I'm all done. Kaizo-san, where's our guy going? On his way towards Pink Street. Crowd's thinning out. Get your ass over here. Got it. And make it quick. Any minute now, he's gonna figure out I'm shadowing him. I should check the map, get my bearings. I see the map. PlayStation controller? Oh, hey. Press X while moving to sprint. He will keep sprinting, so need to hold it down. Nice. Just push it. Okay, he's on to me. Good luck, Tuck. It's all you now. Really? I need more time. Just get your ass over here. If we lose him, it's on you. Well, that's just rude. <laughs> How is it my fault? Oh shit. Asian beauty show? What do you look like again? She's probably taking a look at her sketch. His hat's pretty unique. Interesting jacket, too. Distinctive mole in his face. Five o'clock shadow and almond shaped eyes. Uh huh. What the? Where's the hat? Where's the jacket? Almond eyes, stubble? No mole. Ah, bored guy. <laughs> Wait. It's a lot of people with the same fucking shit on. Hold up. Hey. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh! Found him. Finally. Thought you were never gonna catch up, man. Sorry. It's him. With the mole. Boom, 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 boom. Stealth man. Literally invisible. <gasps> I might need cover soon, boys. Cover me. Hey, hey you. Oh. It's high time you pay all the rent you owe. I just need a little longer, okay? Just one more week. Another week? I am done warning you. Yes, I assure you. It better be. Bye for now, then. Oh, that was close. Whew. It's fine. We're gonna get this bastard. We don't know what he's done, but he's one bad bitch. And I will tail him. Forever. I'm literally invisible. He can't.
can't even see me. Oh shit. Oh my god, he's going for a snack. But what is he getting? Hold up. I need a better angle for this. Ooh. A sodi pop. Oh huh. shit. Someone call me. Oh fuck. Oh shit. Oh shit. Heading for the champion district. The champion. Oh, great. We're never gonna find him in that maze. Probably why he's going there. Thankfully, we can always follow him from above. Yeah. Wanna break out the pigeon? Just try to head him off, Kaito-san, and be ready. The oh. pigeon. Oh, and try not to get carried away. Can't afford to get that thing fixed again. Yeah, yeah. Just don't lose him. What the fuck is the pigeon? I got him, don't worry. Hold. Oh shit. Uh oh. This is. Wait, this is the fucking empty lot. Hold up. Hold the fuck up. Just ducked into an empty lot, Kaito. <gasps> he said the words. Dead end. We follow him. We blow our cover. What do you think he's doing in there? Probably meeting someone he doesn't want to be seen with. Makes sense. Pigeons up. Can you see it? Hold on. <clears throat> What's he doing in a place like this? Hey. There it is. The drone. I'll send the feed to your phone. Where's the fucking cat? Suspicious. That's no pigeon, that's a cat. Rare. Nice flying, Kaito-san. Keep it steady. You been practicing? Now's not a good time, talk. Gotta concentrate. Hmm. There's another guy in there with him. Uh oh. So he is meeting someone. Hey, I know that guy. It's a bookie for horse races. Trying to gamble his way to paying off debts, huh? Because that always works. Yeah, well, if they came all the way out here just to meet, he must have the cash on him. The cash. We'll get what we need if we move now. You remember what we're doing here, right? Collecting the dead that detective of Oh, I get it. This is our chance. Just relax. Let me do my thing, okay? You got it, Talk. Don't fuck it up. Step in, bitch. It's time to go. Nice night, huh, detective? Uh-oh. Huh? Eh? I hear the bookies in Kamurocho make some pretty good deals. You win 10% more, you lose 10% less. They make it sound so enticing. Maybe I should get in on it. He knows. Hey, where are you going? Don't you need your money? What the hell is this? Who are you? I'm here to get my client's money back. I'm the collector. Or you lose it on another horse. So they hired a thug to collect. Should I be impressed you found me? A thug? Well, that's not very nice. You and I are in the same business. You're a detective? Afraid so. I hear you're pretty hard to get a hold of. That's why the people you owe came to me. Look, I know you have the money on you. Oh! 
spotted, bitch. Just do us both a favor and pay up. Don't put up a fight. <laughs> well, you're right. I have the money. But look, I'll pay everything back after I win big on this next race. Just wait, okay? Uh-uh. Are you serious? I didn't track you down just so you could... Maybe next time! <laughs> what? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Is that a fucking smoke just... nade? He's making a run for it. I saw. Where are you going, little guy? Damn it. Get back here. The instantaneous distraction flare. Already. Won't get away. Oh shit! I just pushed sir square. Whoops. Woo! Rolling. What? <laughs> okay, so it. The fuck? Whoa! Like I was already on left on my analog. I just let it go. Okay. Capture fleeing targets by pressing circle as soon as you get close enough. Here, try capturing them right now. to learn when to quit shut up I have it all figured out I'll get the money no I'll kick your ass let's go I can utilize two distinctive combat styles crane and tiger the way of the crane and the tiger whoa He's dodging my... Let's go. Keep trying to grab him. Oh! Oh! Ow. Get off the floor, bitch. The pseudo ragdoll. <laughs> I don't get it. Didn't you say you were a detective? Yeah. What's your name? I never said I'd field any questions, asshole. It's Yagami. Take a good look. Now, do you believe me? So, let's be civil here. Just hand over the cash, okay? 150 grand sound good? 150? Back the fuck off. You running some kind of racket here? I'll sue you. Oh, yeah? Uh oh. Ah! You gonna sue? Jesus. What the fuck do you think you are? Huh? Oh. Uh, hold on, Kaito-san. The hell? You're not a detective, asshole. You're fucking Yakuza. Oh, yeah? Guess you know what'll happen if you don't pay up there. <laughs> hey, ease up, Kaito-san. I'm sure he doesn't want to piss you off anymore. Uh, hey, uh, uh, I said all right. <laughs> Just keep slapping. Come on, man. Listen here, asshole. I'm gonna sue your ass into the goddamn ground. You see this? You broke my fucking nose. <laughs> Don't be so melodramatic. I think we both know who threw the first punch. No, no way I'm gonna let that slide. Just you watch. You'll see the court's gonna... Ooh. Uh, but that's... A lawyer's badge. 
he's so you're not a detective. A detective and lawyer? You still want to sue? You know, you won't know what hit you. Damn. Got him. Yep, I beat the game. Come, Rocho. No better place for a night out. Jungle Boy. A neon city. But the brighter the lights, the darker the shadows. The whole town's run by the toughest Yakuza family out there. Uh-oh. The Tojo clan. Not the, the fucking day, Tojo. The more interesting things get. More dangerous, too. Take this burglary ring. Just a bunch of kids looking for kicks. Word is, they met on some sketchy website. Never even seen each other's faces. That's a lot of kids. As for the cops, they can't catch a single one. They're all pussies. The only thing anyone really cares about in Kamurocho these days, though, is the murders. <gasps> Over three months, three Kansai Yakuza have turned up dead. Most think it's the Tojo clan making some kind of power move in the ongoing turf war. Uh-oh. This one's missing its eyes, too. Oh, shit. That's not the only thing, though. All three of them were missing their eyes. It's him. It's in one little corner of this city that I run a detective agency. The Stranger Things guy. I work alongside my partner, Kaito-san. Funny enough, Vecna. he's ex-Tojo. And me? I'm Takayuki Yagami. Used to be a lawyer, but I put that life behind me three years ago. As for my badge, it's barely even a decoration at this point. This game better be the uh, L.A. Noir Japanese version. Three blind mice. Yo, ramen? Video game! <laughs> Dude, wanna play video game? Here, I'll scrounge up the rest for you later. What about your cut? I'll get it eventually. All of this goes to the client. Gotcha. Anyway, I'm gonna swing by Genda Sensei's place. See if he's got any work. Don't hold your breath. For a lawyer's office, things are slow as shit over there. Uh, you're aware they're one of our best clients, right? Yeah, yeah, I know you used to work there and all. But don't show up empty-handed. Cash. Here, buy him some sweets or something. At least go through the motions. So cha -ching! My boy's all grown up. Don't mention it, Dad. <laughs> now get going. <laughs> what the fuck? What is that? Listen. Music that soothes the soul. Every good detective has a vintage record player in the office. Oh. I don't have any records. I hear they've got some extra fancy dorayaki at the Popo over on Tenkaichi Street. Popo? Even come in a box. Huh? Well, Genda Sensei's got a pretty big sweet tooth. If you get me. Right. I'll go pick some up. Okay.
fucking go, dude. Oh, no loading screen? Oh my god. The bottom left is like a phone and GPS. It was on the left. I didn't see that. Move, bitch. Yo, what's up? What the? Welcome! Doyaki! Popular on the internet and perfect for a small gift. Clear. Hold on there, pal. <gasps> Already? You just bought some of them Doriaki, yeah? <laughs> Sorry, but they're mine. They were now. like one dollar, bro. Uh, are they? <laughs> Look, I've been after one of those things for days now. You just bought the last fucking box. <laughs> Can't stand for that, right, boys? Uh, you could could have just bought it yourself. Wow. Well, can't argue with that logic. What was that, smartass? <laughs> Oh god. Uh oh. Oh. Ouch. Oh. Wall jump. I'm out of juice, I think. Gotcha. Psh, psh. Oh, I'm still in Tiger. Whoops. Damn you. Have you had enough? Hey. Uh oh. Always getting into trouble. More thugs. Captain of the Matsugane family, a Toju clan subsidiary. Let go! You, uh... Our boy Tuck here doesn't start shit without a real good reason. Uh, 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 oh. And that means it was you. Oh. You dumbasses jumped the wrong guy. Uh, no. Uh, you know this guy's like a son to the Matsugane patriarch, right? Uh oh. Know what I'm trying to say, asshole? Hey, come on, Cap. Can't we just let it be? No can do. Oh, shit. Oh! <laughs> this right here just became a matter of Matsugane family honor. I'm sorry. <laughs> you okay, man? Punches him again. Kengo, you haven't met our buddy Tuck here, have you? He's a guy you want to know. Hotshot detective type. Right. It's good to meet you. Hello, sir. The boss paid his way through law school back in the day. Made him into a damn good attorney. Guy even managed to get a bona fide serial killer off the hook. Oh! Seriously? Wow, that's incredible. <laughs> right? Damn shame seeing talent like that go to waste. Huh, totally. <laughs> Get this though. The first thing that killer did when he got loose. Uh-oh. Stabbed his girlfriend to death. Can you believe that? <laughs> oh. Damn. Oh. <laughs> yep. Guy got the death penalty and everything. They get around to hanging his ass, talk. Not yet, no. Oh, what the hell's taking him so long? What is that guy Here. set up? This is the money from that detective. The rest is yours. I already took my cut. Buy something now. Good. On me. Finally getting the hang of this whole debt collecting thing. Risky, thanks, yeah, Pegaton. Thanks to you. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, how's Kaito? Fine. You mind asking him something? How long's he gonna stick around? Not wise to stay in town after you get kicked out of the family. Oh. But, uh, 
I can look the other way since the boss likes you so much. Speaking of, how's Matsugani-san doing? None of your damn business, I'd say. Oh. Come on, let's go. None of your damn business, bitch. As snide as ever. Mm. Still haven't seen Gendis, I'd say. That Barker sure loved talking about Tids. Too bad I'm an ass man. True. So true, man. Is this it? Oh. Hey, man. I'm sorry. You're in the way. Hey there, sorry son. Look, Doriaki. Extra fancy. <laughs> Genda Law Office, where I used to work. Things haven't changed much these past three years. Hello, Yagami san. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. You uh, getting situated? Yes. Everyone here is just great. Oh, she know. So I hear you're good. Pass the bar with top marks and everything. <laughs> How'd you end up in this dump and not in a bigger office, huh? Uh-oh. Huh? Well, you see, that's... Uh... I hear you over there, Yagami. <laughs> <laughs> Evening, Genda sensei Other than my real dad, there's two people I look up to like a father. Genda sensei is one of those people. He gave me a job here, before I'd even gotten out of law school. Where's that guy? Shintani Sensei out for the night? Uh, I can't keep track of that boy. I'm sure you're happy though. You don't have to deal with him. Huh? You two can't stand each other. You hate each other's guts. Be honest with me here. Uh, hold on now. Shintani's like a mentor to me. So, about that job you have. If you really want that job, you're gonna have to get along. So show your senpai a little more respect. Oh, Genda Sensei. Senpai? I got you some Doriaki. Just sit right there. I'll grab you one. Uh-oh. Huh? <clears throat> Uh-oh. Sorry? <laughs> Did you eat them all? No. <gasps> all but half. Hope you don't mind. Uh. <clears throat> That's. That's okay. So, what are the chances you've got some work for me, Genda Sensei? Work, huh? How long are you gonna keep doing this to yourself, Yagami? You know how dangerous this city is. Wouldn't be many cases for me if Kamurocho was a safe place. Uh-huh. Cases like collecting debt for the Yakuza? Hey, better that than no work at all, am I right? You call that detective work? You're practically a mercenary. Fine by me. I was never too hung up on being a detective anyway. Listen, Yagami. Yeah? Listen. You ever thought about becoming a lawyer again? I haven't. And why is that? Take a good look at me, Genda Sensei. I'm looking. Mm -hmm. These eyes aren't exactly the best judge of character. I think I made that clear three years ago. What use am I as a lawyer if I can't tell good from bad? Knock it off, Yagami. Stop beating yourself up. What happened to Emmy was tragic, yes, but it wasn't your fault. It doesn't matter whose fault it is. I never want to deal with something like that again. That's so, fucked up. Have any work for me? A guy's got to stay busy, you know? Keeps me distracted from Emmy Chan and all that. It doesn't matter what you've got, just give me something. Uh, how about a divorce case? I have some evidence that needs collecting. It'll be the usual deal. Stake out a love hotel, snap some photos, tail the guy, dig through some trash. You in? 
I'm in. Job's a job. Dig through some trash. Uh, I give up. I'll send you the details later. And next time, don't bring a gift, you hear? Doesn't feel right taking them from guys too broke to pay for. Anything you say. Got it. Who's calling? Gentle Law Office. Yes. Mm hmm. Okay. Yagami san, that was Shintani sensei. Hmm? Apparently, he wants your help gathering evidence for a murder. Murder? Huh? Since when are we working a murder case? This is the first I've heard of it, too. Go give Shintani a hand, Yagami. This blows that divorce I was gonna send you on out of the water. Been years since we had a murder case. Shintani sensei says he's waiting for you at Tender, that bar on Taihei Boulevard. Tender? I'm there all the time. Just making sure. Okay. Shintani sensei is with. Head tender. Chicken tendies. Now, where is Tinder? No love hotel photos? Ah, don't worry. We'll, we'll get back to the divorce case. That was the main quest. This is the side quest. What the fuck is up? It's called Tinder. Got my first job here 20 years back. 20 years? How old is this guy? Masuda-san never changes. Running a bar must keep you young. Hey, Tuck. Shintani Sensei's in the back. Great. We've got some business to talk. <laughs> surprised to see me? Uh, I'd be more surprised if I didn't. Who's that, Tuck? A detective buddy? Not exactly, Mari. This one's a client. Won't be your client for long if you don't show up on time. You're late. Come on, you called me here totally out of the blue. Chill out, maybe. That's what I'm saying. Huh? And I'm getting a drink. And I'm paying? <laughs> Let's call it a business expense. <laughs> That's tax deductible. Here's a familiar face. Kyohei Hamura from the Matsugane family. I ran into him earlier, actually. Take it he's your client? Yep. Got hauled in earlier. They're charging him with murder. For what? Seriously? Seriously. So, the like Matsugani this? Patriarch came to us for his defense. Genda Sensei is the go-to guy for all his legal problems, you Hold know? Hold on. How'd you end up in the Can driver's seat, then? Genda Sensei. There's a spider? Hold on. I'm on the case. Spider-Man Slayer is here. Spider-Man is down. He has been slain. I gave him my card. Gotta say, not looking forward to defending a Yakuza. Tough luck, I guess. Anyway, you're coming with me to the station. Need to have a word with Hamura. You got way more Yakuza experience than me, after all. I yeah, suppose I do. I'm done Let me give you a rundown of the case first. The victim was a Yakuza. He's pretty small. A Kansai guy. Part of the Kyore clan. They found his body tossed in a dumpster just about a week ago. Hold on. This is... The guy who got his eyes gouged out? Yep. Uh. Cops think Hamura is the one who did it. Hell of a case, man. This is the third Yakuza they've found like this. Fortunately, we're not dealing with a triple homicide here, so the media isn't swarming. Hmm? Hammer's got an alibi for the first two incidents. This third murder is the only one they're pinning on him. So they won't admit the cases are connected? No. Makes sense. Three bodies and not a single suspect isn't exactly given the cops credibility. Guess they just want to get this case closed and move on, even if they have to force it through. And hey, the victim was Yakuza, 
Nobody really cares who hangs for it. Oh, <gasps> I have choices. Move cam. Where did I put my stuff? <laughs> Has Hamura said anything to you? I got a star! Yeah. He told me he didn't do it. Claimed the cops were falsely accusing him. So he insists he's innocent, huh? I'll just choose this, I guess. You think Hamura really killed him? I said miss. Just curious. I don't know. And I don't really care. If he says he's innocent, I gotta prove he's innocent. That's my job. So... Wait, I don't get it. Is it? It made me go through all of them. Why'd they come after Hamura, of all people? Two reasons. First, the victim was a Kansai Yakuza from a group that's been making inroads in Kamurocho and picking fights with the Tojo clan along the way. Odds are this was a Tojo guy wanting to send a message. And as you know, Hamura fits the bill. And the other reason? Hammer and the victim were seen having a fight on the day of the crime. Oh. I'm guessing there's security camera footage then. Uh, okay, so the next one unlocks. Okay, so if it's two stars and there's two correct ones or something. Maybe if there's three stars, then there's three correct ones. I think I know enough. We should get to the station. We'll see. You go on ahead. I got some calls to make first. Just or take a cab there. If there's one star, there's only one correct Will one. We'll do. Stars were top right. They, they weren't there when the last thing unlocked. And after I chose two of them. Leaving already, talk, And only one drink in. What can I say? I'm a busy man. Funny you should say that. Another customer of mine has a job for you. Tell you about it when you're not so swamped, okay? Hey, I'm not about to pass up a paying gig. Then come back when you and Shintani Sensei are done. Okay. Sure. Oh my god. Oh. He just wants me to go to a taxi. Close the door? Uh, it'll close itself. It's automatic. Last week. Uh-oh. Oh my god. Kick. Can I start smacking random civilians? I don't know. I'm dried yet. We just keep running into each other tonight, eh, hey, Doc? Why the long face? Hamura-san. Uh, I'm Shintani from the Genda Law Office. The Matsugane family asked us to represent you. Then I'm glad you said yes, Shintani-sensei. We're gonna get along real good. Just like my boss and Genda-sensei. Uh, right. Well, let's get started. I'll be taking point, while Yagami here will be doing the legwork to try and back up your claims. No better guy to do it. I'll do what I can. So, they brought you in under suspicion of murder. Can you tell me more about that? Huh? What do you want to know? What do you want to know? Whether or not you killed the guy. Does it really matter? Your job's getting me out of this mess, regardless of the truth. Uh-oh. No. Because if I find out you actually did it... You'll drop me? Oh! Better. I'll make sure the prosecution puts you away for life. Oh! This is bullshit! Just like you did that serial killer, huh? Uh, Yagami? All the evidence at the time pointed to Shinpei Okubo being innocent. That's why I chose to trust him. But then, that Okubo guy, well, he proved us all wrong. Murdered his girlfriend in cold blood. Come on, Tuck. 
Let's be honest about what you were really focused on at the time. You wanted that precious acquittal so bad you didn't even stop to think you were setting a murderer loose. No. Right? That's not it. What happened to innocent until proven guilty? Try saying that to Emmy Terasawa's parents. That's why you quit, right? You couldn't face him. Oh. <clears throat> you think, um, we could maybe get back to the case? <laughs> sure. Why not? <laughs> you good to go? You good, bruh? Damn. Guess this is just part of the job. I'm fine. Keep going. My apologies. Now, <clears throat> let's start with the victim. Toshiro Kume, 34 at his time of death. A member of the Kansai-based Kyore clan. Around 6 a.m. on the 4th of December, the police got a 110 call from someone who found his corpse in a pile of garbage. I hear you and this Kume had some kind of argument before he died. Yep. Yep. Did the police say what evidence points to you being the killer? Do they have anything substantial? Nope. Bastards are keeping their lips sealed. Ain't that right, Shintani-sensei? Yes. At this point in the investigation, the cops won't tell me what they've got against you. Your words are the only thing we'll have till the trial. Tuh. Is what it is. Anything else you want to ask, Yagami? Oh! Three stars! I don't need them... actually in order, do I? Where did you and Kume have your fight? Out in front of a club, Amor, over on Supon Street. Soup. Me and a few Matsugani boys had a little run-in with a Kiori guy. Turns out that was your boy, Kume. And who started the fight? Who do you think? I'm not gonna let some Kansai punk strut around like he owns the place. I'd already thrown a few drinks back at that point, too. What time did this all go down? Just past nine. So what happened after you and Kume had your standoff? Went your separate ways? Nah, he tried to split, but I had my boys grab him. Dragged him into a moor. What? I... I thought it was just a little scuffle, though. You're saying you abducted Kume on a crowded public street? Yep, Amor is one of the family businesses. <laughs> yep, we abducted so him. So I went in, kicked the customers out, and kicked the crap out of Kume. Oh. But I'm telling you, I didn't kill the guy. Just tossed him out the back door when I was done with him. I left right after, too. A few minutes before midnight. Uh huh. Oh. So you were seen dragging Kume into the club, and he was found in the morning with his eyes gouged out. <laughs> I'd arrest you too if I was a cop. Oh! You have an alibi? What time did they think Kume died? <sighs> Apparently between two and three in the morning. The cops were drilling me real hard about where I was around then. And? Where were you? At a sauna. A spot called Sauna Goten. Spent the night getting a steam. Steamy? There's no proof you were actually there, huh? Uh-oh. <laughs> Otherwise you wouldn't be in here. Pretty much. Someone should have seen something, though. Police response or the victim? I actually have no idea. Like, what is the least important one? Right? The best choice. Legit 50-50. I mean, he already told me about the victim, I guess. How about police? Yeah. Who's the detective in charge ah, of the case? Kuroiwa. From organized crime. Shintani sensei is probably real familiar with him. I am. More so because he's one of those brutes with a badge. Pretty sure the Curie murders are his case. I can't stand him. Guy doesn't give a rat's ass about Yakuza. 
What do we have on the victim? Toshiro Kume, 34. Run of the mill Kyori grunt. Was Kume alone when you ran into him? It's so weird. You take that kind of risk in it, It's weird because, like, I've already heard about him, the victim. You know? He feels less important. Territory. It was him and one more. Probably another Curie asshole. Don't know his name, though. So there were two of them, and how many of you? I'd say there was probably five, including me. Why didn't you guys take Kume's friend in, too? <laughs> we tried. Bastard ran like the goddamn wind, though. I think I've heard enough for now. We'll get going, then. That's all. Ominous music. Yagami, head over to Sonico 10 for me. See if Hammer's alibi holds water. All right. If we can prove he was there, we won't even have to go to trial. I'll give you a ring tomorrow for the report. Later. A ring? We're getting married? Hey, it's the victim. I haven't seen these side quests in this game yet. I don't think they're unlocked yet. Move, bitch. This is where he says he was in the night of the crime. Is it not? Oh. Excuse me. You work here? Yeah. Come on in, friend. Actually, I'm not a customer. Mind if I ask you a few questions? Sure, what do you need? I'm here What's about up? a murder. The Yakuza who had his eyes gouged out. Oh, a detective came by for the same thing. Wanted to know if their suspect was with us the night of the incident. Uh-oh. And you are... a reporter? Something like that, yeah. And this is Hamura, captain of the Matsugane family. Did he come in on the night of the crime? I'll tell you the same thing I told the cops. I make it a point not to remember anyone specific, you know? Ah. Uh, I see. If this old man had remembered him over his face, then he would have, an, have had an alibi. You get a lot of customers in and out, huh? Up to the last train, at least. From there, it's only in till morning. You know how it is. People drop in, wait for the trains to start up again. Same as any other night. Interesting. So everyone who comes in stays till morning, huh? And as long as I can prove Hummer was here, we'll have our alibi. Oh yeah, the cops mentioned something kind of similar. Twenty-four. If I can I prove that Hummer is here on the night of the crime, then that will solve everything. But there supposedly wasn't any promising evidence to point to an alibi. You guys don't have a security camera? Something we could check? So don't raise here. We do, but it deletes all its footage every three days. Privacy and all. It was already long gone by the time the cops came around. Got it. Thanks. Sorry to bother you. Maybe I should try asking some other people around here. <laughs> Who's looking like they want to be talked to? You? Hey. You're out here pretty often, right? Did you see a Yakuza head into Sonic 10 the night of December 3rd? <laughs> um, why would I know that? You're crazy, mister. You're crazy, mister. Hey, you have a sec? I'm looking for info on a Yakuza who went to Sonic 10 on the night of December 3rd. <laughs> you seriously expect me to remember something from that long ago? I'm trying to work here. Get lost! <laughs> okay. Sorry? Hey. Excuse me. I'm looking for info on a Yakuza who stopped by Sonico 10 on the night of December 3rd. Did you see anything? This is the guy. Name's Hamura. I can't say I know him. There's tons of Yakuza around here. Though, now that you mention it, I remember something about a host getting smacked in the face that night. Uh oh. By a Yakuza? Yep. Don't think he got hurt too bad, though. Pretty sure it happened right around midnight. 
All this on the night of the incident. Oh? But when I went to check things out, the Yakuza was long gone. The host was just standing there shouting. That help at all? Hmm. Uh, any idea who the host was? Nah. I mean, they all kind of have that pretty boy look. Doubt I'd be able to recognize him if he was standing right in front of me. Does anyone else know about this? I don't know. I don't know. Guess this isn't much of a lead then. Thanks for your help. So much for that. Guess I should head home for tonight. Bedge. Look, it's my place. Wait, it's the Yagami Detective Agency. Resting up here? Someone sent me something. Detective support pack! Newbie support pack! Truth take back! <laughs> Ten play passes. Aruka Sawamura, so much more figurine. I didn't order all this shit. What the fuck? Rental cats. I got kitties. Oh my god, bro. What the fuck? Instant kill? I I'm actually stuck. Infinitely looting. Okay, holy fucking balls. What the hell was all that shit? Infinite quantity? Instant kill? What the fuck is this shit? Hey. Yo. You're still here? I thought you'd have left hours ago. I was gonna, but I realized all I do at home is pass out. Did go for a drink, though. Oh, now you're having another. You know that bottle's mine. <laughs> <laughs> well, Genda Sensei give you any work? Yep. Probably thanks to the Doriaki. He wants me to scrounge up some evidence for a murder trial. You got this from Genda? I thought it was all about civil suits now. Criminals don't pay the bills, right? Well, this one comes straight from Matsugane-san. Turns out Hamura went and got himself arrested. What the hell? What? For one of those Kyore clan murders. You mean that eye-gouging shit? Mm-hmm. I just dropped by the jail to see him. He claims he's innocent, though. Huh. Crazy. Huh. Oh. Not interested? I can't say I blame you after what Hamra did. Booting you from the family was a low blow. If you want, I'll handle it solo. Look, don't worry about it. I'm the one who fucked up. Not him. Either way, we've got the case. Count me in. <laughs> Good. Teamwork! Rest. Yes. Premium Adventure Papega Credit. Mm-hmm. For premium gamers only. What's up, Shintani? Morning, sunshine. I'm on Nakamichi Street. Yeah, and? You know Majore? Little cafe, killer coffee. Come here. Another impromptu meeting? Don't whine. I thought you liked keeping busy. Sure? I guess? Do I really have to squeeze through this fucking shit every time? Fuck this office. This is a burger joint. Oh. Well, that's the wrong place, so that's why. Ooh, a cow. XQ Cow? Hey, over here. 
Take a seat. Okay. Right. Anyway, I asked around near Sonic 10. Couldn't get anyone to back up Hamuro's alibi, though. All right. Good work. <laughs> so. Good work. What'd you call me out here for? Something came up. Take a look at this. Oh my god, music. Cops released it to the media. It's the camera footage from Amor. Hamura and Kume are both in here. Clear as day. Damn. Didn't realize the cops had their hands on this. This could be pretty bad. Ready? I'm gonna play it. What's gonna happen? Oh, shit. Kume's the poor bastard getting dragged into the club. Explains why Kumi's buddy there is running for his life. Sprinting it. Yep. Got a name, too. Akira Murase. Another Kyori thug. Word is, he hasn't left Kamurocho after getting interrogated by the cops. By the look of things, there must be a Kyori hideout nearby. Crazy how clear it all is. Hamura can't just talk his way out of this. Yep. And there's more. Take a look at this. Did something else happen? What else could the camera have caught? One hour later, everyone leaves, except for Hamura and Kume. Uh, Even the owner hightails oh. it. Wait, why would they stick around? Who knows? Our pal Hamura never mentioned this part. Now, this happened around 10 p.m., meaning there was another four hours before Kume's suspected time of death. That's a lot of time. The question is, what were the two of them doing all that time? There's no doubt Hamura was alone with Kume right before he died. What did he say with, he did with Kume again? Hamura said he threw Kume out of the club around midnight. After that, he left the club himself and went to the sauna. Right. But I want to hear how it all went down from a different angle. That's where you come in, Yagami. You gotta talk to the guy in charge of Amor. Back up a second. Huh? You're the lawyer here. I get that. You decide what kind of investigation we need for the trial. But don't tell me how to do my job. Oh! Yeah, but aren't you gonna talk to him either way? All the same. Oh, well, maybe. I'd appreciate it if you'd stop barking orders at me. No more orders. I was gonna do that by myself. Bitch. Actual college girls work at apple pie in maid outfits? <gasps> apple pie, apple pie, apple pie, apple pie. Oh. Guess I'll have to investigate over there, make sure no one's getting murdered. Might have a lead. Club Amor, this is where everything went down between Hamura and Kume. The angle of the footage should help me find where the camera is. Hmm. Boop. Hmm. Found it. This is a security camera that gave us our footage. Better go talk to the owner. Wait a fucking second. What the hell did I just hear? What was that? Where the fuck are you, kitty? You're on my left. Or are you? Where's the fucking cat? Oh, wait, I can move. That was stuck. Love. Let me get a new perspective on this. <gasps> Suspicious. Oh, look, a cat. Sus. Pishes. Huh? Who are you? You need something? Actually, I was wondering if you have a minute to talk. Where were you on the night of the murder? About December 3rd. Oh, I had that day off, man. 
If anyone's gonna know, it's our manager. Plus five sus points. <laughs> he doesn't come in till nighttime, though. The manager, huh? This him? Oh, it is. Oh, hey. What's his name? Aragaki. Think you could get in touch with him for me? We need to have a chat. I could try. Hold on. I knew this was gonna happen. He never has his phone on during the day. He usually hangs out near here, though. You mean in Kamurocho? Yep, usually. Yep. All right, I'll go take a look around. If you don't mind me asking, how? You're just gonna walk the whole city? No, I have a plan. Someone I can use to help me find him. With the name and photo, it shouldn't be much of a problem. Ah, huh. if you say so, man. Good luck. <laughs> Thanks for the help. Leave out the back door. This is the back of the club. Oh, security camera. Uh-oh. Night of the crime, Hamura said he and Kume left the club from the store. This camera would have caught that if it had been working. As for where the owner is, I know just the person to ask. I have a feeling he'll be where he always is. Montai Internet Cafe. I gotta squeeze this shit. Oh. Yep, it's time to have PC banging. They might have video game there, yes. Yo. Holy fuck, it's gaming booths. Somehow I knew I'd find you here. Ah, uh, Yagamishi. You here to join this raid I'm about to get going? Raid? <laughs> Probably not, huh? What can I do for you? Wait, is there no chair? That's something I need a guy like you for, Tsukumo. This is Makoto Tsukumo. He's... well, he's a character. Tsukumo makes a living digging up dirt on the internet. A modern-day informant, if you will. More detective work, I assume? It's actually not on a What's chair. What's the mark this time? A lost cat? Someone go missing? I'm looking for someone. The owner of Club Amour man named Aragaki. He's probably somewhere nearby, but I don't have time to scour all of Kamurocho either. <laughs> you got that right. Searching on foots for cavemen. Uh, here, can I see your phone for a quick second? My phone? Sure. Sure. Ah, what do we have here? You already have the chatter app, Yagamishi. I do? Oh. I guess it came pre-installed. Well, you're in luck. In my hands, this stupid app becomes a powerful way to find people. Really? How? Hold on. I'm busting into their servers now. Busting. And oh, there we go. shit. Here, take a look. Go ahead, try searching for something. Maybe a name? That would be Aragaki. Whoa! Okay, and let's limit the time period while we're at it. Say, today. Okay. See? That map will tell you the GPS position of all the relevant chatter posts. Not gonna lie, I had to give myself admin privileges to get that one, though. <laughs> wow. Wow. 128 hits. We're gonna need to narrow down the search. Not sure what else we can put in, though. Didn't you say the name of the club, Yagamishi? Some crazy French word? Oh yeah, it's Club Amour. Great. Amour. Let's try Aragaki and Club Amour. Well, looky there. Narrowed it down to one. Twenty-five-year-old so and swole. Nope. Just someone who saw him. 
That's still a massive hint, though. See, it got posted only ten minutes ago. Meaning the poster might still be nearby. So, if I were you, I'd get down there and see if you can find out where your man went. I marked the spot on your map, Yagamishi. Hope it comes in handy. Good luck out there. Dude, thanks. Oh, and try to get out more, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Why on earth would I do that? Sure. Keep raiding, man. Keep raiding. Yeah, what a fucking loser. Sitting at a PC all day with no fucking chair! <gasps> Lulu! Got a second? Sure. I, I just can spare a few deleted those. that grandma. What's up? I'm looking for the owner of a club called Amour. Any idea where he is? Actually, yeah. Just saw him. Wasn't in a great mood from the look of it. Must have really lost big time on the pachinko slots. Any idea where he was heading? Toward Taihe Boulevard. Probably getting sushi, if I had to guess. Sushi? Sushi? Really? Isn't that a little pricey for a guy who just lost a bunch of money? <laughs> you don't get it. You get sushi after a big loss to cheer yourself up. What's ten more grand if you've already lost fifty or a hundred? Winning's what makes you stingy. Feels like it'd be a waste to blow your earnings on something dumb. Oh. Huh. I'd never thought about it. Anyway, thanks a bunch. I'll head over to that sushi joint. Hmm. Is that how it works, though? See you next time. Hey. Aragaki-san, the owner of Amor. <laughs> and you are? Yagami from the Yagami Detective Agency. I want to talk about what happened on the night of December 3rd. Oh, yeah? Sorry, not ringing any bells. Come on, you and I both know that's not true. <laughs> well, it is. I don't know a damn thing. Why don't I jog your memory then? I've got something to show you. A dead guy with no balls. What evidence proves this man is involved? Surely it's this. Hmm. Zoom. Enhance. Reveal the evidence! Take a look. <sighs> On the night of the crime, you left Amur with these Matsugane goons, leaving Hamura and Kume, the victim, alone in there. You're knee-deep in this. <sighs> Guess I can't argue with that logic. Don't worry. I won't ask for anything too out there. Just a bit of your time. I'm working on Hamra's defense, and I'm hoping you're the silver bullet. Oh. Oh yeah. Whatever. That I'll statue's talk. fucking creepy. Right behind him. Huh? You actually tracked him down. Appreciate the help. Yes, I did. Now, what went down around 9 p.m. on the night of December 3rd? Well, uh, Captain Hamura brought that Kansai punk Kume in here. It was out of the blue. Caught me off guard. Were there any other customers here at the time? Just a few. They bailed when Hamura came busting in here. Who wouldn't? I ended up sending the girls home, too. Once everybody was gone, the Matsugane guys just laid into Kume for almost an hour. Oh. You uh, didn't hear that from me. You're good. Don't worry. Then, right around 10, something kind of weird happened. Hamura kicked everyone out of the club. Even me. And the only ones left inside were Hamura and Kume. <sighs> yep. You know why Hamura kicked everyone out? He... He said Kume reminded him of an old friend. Claimed they needed to have a chat. Alone. At least that's how he worded it. And that didn't seem weird to anyone? Oh, the Matsugane boys had plenty to say about it. But if the boss tells you to leave, you get the heck out. No clue what went down in the club after that. Huh. Oh, shit. Aha! So police response has to be the worst one. Tell me about the camera out back. Yes. Oh, that? How long's it been like that? For about a month, some drunk asshole chucked a rock. 
<sighs> cracked it right open. Yeah, it was just for show, though. Never actually worked in the first place. Oh. Not much use to me then. Did you just sit and watch while the Matsugani tore into Kume? What do you mean? What else could I have done? Called the cops on them for one. Not like they're especially good for business. Nor is a dead body in your club. Come on. They'd have killed me if I did that. And frankly, it didn't look like they were hurting him too bad. If anything, they were going easy on him. Meaning what? Like just smacking him around a bit. You know, nothing too serious. Once in a while, they'd hit him a little harder to make him bleed, I guess. Hmm. So I... I could do this. Well, let's see it. The cops came by after the incident, right? A detective, yeah. Guy named Kuroiwa. Apparently with organized crime. What did you tell him? Not a whole lot. Same stuff I told you. <sighs> Forensics was tearing this place apart. Trying to find bloodstains from Kume. You know, with that luminol stuff. I thought I'd wiped all that up before they got here, but that sure was a waste. <sighs> Turns out blood's tougher to clean up than I thought. Mm. Now they're convinced the murder happened here. Was there that much blood? Before you wiped it up, I mean. No, not really. I told you, they barely even made Kume bleed. Sounds like he didn't die here, then. Well, I certainly wouldn't know. Well, thanks. I see. This is a huge help. Are we done here? New info. Yeah. I ain't leaving through the back. Fuck the back. Answer the call. Hey. Kaito, what's up? Hey, man. Where are you? Just left a club called Amor over on Supon Street. Amor? Isn't that one of the Matsugane joints? Yep. Hamura and the victim were apparently alone in here the night of the murder. Anyway, need something? Yep. Swing by the office when you're done there. What's up? Uh, it's no rush. You'll see when you get here. Later. Later? Later, bitch. Yeah, people totally casually FaceTime each other. Made cafe time? Oh, shit. Hold up. Can I check it out? What the? It says the flag's here. Sexy club. Oh. Wait, this is not Apple. This is sexy club. We're the maids. Oh, that is the wrong place. The fuck out of this shithole. Yeah. Huh? Excuse me. Can't just barge in here. Yeah, get lost. Sorry. I guess Apple Club will have to wait. We'll have to unlock it. Or something. Where's the goddamn entrance? Made Cafe secret menu? Oh. Oh, ho, ho, you know. I'm getting massive sus points. Why is she here? How about you ask her yourself, Romeo? Oh. Good to see you, Yakami-kun. Public prosecutor, Mafuyu Fuji. Don't worry, it's not what you think. And before you ask, she's not here to win your heart again. Win my heart again? Hold on a minute. Let's make one thing clear. We never dated. Guess I misspoke. Don't sue. What is that? <clears throat> I'm here on business. That should be obvious. Business? The prosecutor's office is pressing murder charges against Kyohei Hamra. 
of the Matsugane family. You're involved, aren't you, Yagami-kun? Word travels fast. Nothing that happens in Genda's office gets away from me. Saori-san just can't keep a secret, huh? Not with me. We go way back. Since you were kids, right? Yep. Yep. Back to Hamura, though. They're already pressing charges. They only just arrested him. Apparently the prosecutor's had his eye on Hamura for a while now. He's just been lying in wait for the perfect moment to strike. And this prosecutor is... Your friend, Izumira. <clears throat> Somehow I knew it'd be him. You haven't seen that guy since the whole not guilty verdict, huh, Talk? My friend. Yep. He's probably still sore about it. Too bad Shintani's gonna be the one in charge of the case and not me. You're really never becoming a lawyer again, are you? I don't want to talk about it anymore. Genda Sensei asked me the same question. <laughs> I see. Does the prosecution have any work for me? I'd be glad to cut you a discount. You know what, Yagami-kun? Hmm? This detective business really doesn't suit you. What do you mean? I'm a superstar. Couldn't she have just called? Think she went through the trouble for a reason? Maybe you? It's uh, getting dark out. I should walk her back. <laughs> yeah, I'll just make sure she's huh. safe. Chase after Mofuyu. Where'd you go? Hey. Mofuyu. Oh! Not so fast. Who are you? Huh? Chief Prosecutor? And Yagami-kun, what are you doing? <laughs> well, I was planning to walk you home. Really? That's so sweet. <laughs> Well then, I apologize for my forcefulness. Kunihiko Morita! Sure. This is Chief Prosecutor Morita. And, um, you already know Prosecutor Izumita. Uh oh. Long time no see, Yagami Sensei. Courtroom just hasn't been the same without you around. Damn near breaks my heart. Kaiko Izumita. What up, Star? So you're defending Amara, huh? Nope, Shintani's handling it. I'm just collecting evidence. Looks like you don't need that walk home off of you. Later. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot. You're not a lawyer anymore. Even after your landmark acquittal. Too bad. I only won because I was up against you. Oh! You shut your damn mouth. If it wasn't for your bullshit logic, that murderer would have been behind bars. An innocent girl died because of you. Tell me what was so bullshit about my defense then. Come on, say it. Everything! <laughs> That's enough, Izumita. All of it. It's okay, Izumita-san. Uh, thanks for thinking of me, Yagami-kun. Farewell. Farewell. Man, has that guy got an aura or what? If I was a chick, I'd be way into that. <laughs> Not now, Kaito-san. My bad, my bad. <laughs> so, what do we do about the case? Mafuyu said they're already pressing charges. We should go to Genda's. Let Shintani know what's going on. I want you there too. Got it. See you over there then. What is it now? Look, just uh, take a breather, huh? Count to ten or something. One. Keep on shooting at ten. I'll give you a breather. <clears throat> ah. Hey, it's Sukumbo. Sorry to bug, yeah, got my machine, but I couldn't ask a small favor. <clears throat> Just think of it as paying me back for last time. Fair enough. What do you need me to do? 
Buy me a model figure. It's a specific one I've been looking for. Apparently, they have it at Ibisu, which makes sense since they're limited edition and sold out everywhere else. This may be my only chance to get it. All right, let's see what I can do. He must be in the pawn shop. That's not too far. He's always helping me out, so I do owe him one. Poor guy has never felt comfortable outdoors. Dude, I'm here. What's up, man? Did you finish your raid? Hey. Brought you the goods. <laughs> That's the one. How much? It's on me. I'm paying you back. That's pretty generous, man. Uh... I'm a busy guy. There's this pre-order about to open up, so it's time to man the battle stations. <sighs> Always got a reason to stay cooped up, huh? You never change. Shouldn't say that. You've improved a lot, actually. It's all thanks to you, Yagami. She might never have actually made human contact again if it weren't for you reaching out to yeah. me. Speaking <laughs> of which, you finally set foot out of your house, only to end up hiding away in a net cafe? <laughs> Well, the rent's cheap and the internet's fast. What more could you want in life? Besides, this is the perfect place for an informant to set up his base of operations. True. You've always been a big help, that's for sure. Either way, I'm lucky to have you. <laughs> right back at you. Friends! Oh, city rep. Once you become friends with someone, you'll sometimes receive items from, from them when you pay them a visit. If you don't get an item, try coming back later. I'm here. One infinite consumable down the drain. Here you go. Hey. Hey, Yagami. The hell were you thinking sending Kaito here by himself? Guy acts like he owns a goddamn place. <laughs> All hail King Kaito. <laughs> Just sit your ass down, would you? Sit your ass down, boy. Over there. Okay. So, we finally have some details from the cops. Murder specifics, forensic results, even their proof that Hamura is the one who did it. That's a lot. Let's see it. But first... Hmm? Just don't forget your role in all of this. Especially you, Yagami. At the end of the day, you're just a mercenary. The one who decides how this investigation goes is me. Understand? You got it. It's your show. Now, why don't we look at those documents, Shintani Sensei? That's more like it. First up is the crime scene. Huh. Around 6 a.m., morning of December 4th, police get a call about a body in the alleyway behind a moor. The officer who rushed to the scene confirmed the corpse on arrival. Figure out the cause of death. Victim was a Kansai thug, bottom feeder with the Kyori clan, Toshiro Kume. Body had a few bruises, but the cause of death is pretty obvious. Two puncture wounds, straight through the eyes. The cops think the murderer used something like an ice pick, pierced right into his brain. My eyes hurt just thinking about it. Oh, you're telling me. Looks like the murder weapon Ouch. went through Kume's eyes, then tore him out when the killer took it back. Only natural to think the Tojo was trying to make an example out of him. You know, threaten the Kyore. So even if Hamura didn't do it, it's damn likely that someone from the Tojo clan did. This one's not lost judgment. If we judgment. can figure out who it was, Hamura will be off the hook. What? Find the real killer? That's a step too far. Priority number one is proving his alibi. We do that, we're in the clear. It's not the sequel, it's the prequel. What the? the hell? Hmm? What's that? There's pretty much no blood anywhere near the body. True. Meaning Kume wasn't murdered in that alley. If I had to guess, I'd say he died in a moor. In a uh. moor? Wait, I had a sound. I need to figure out how they disposed hmm. of the corpse. Suspicious. 
Sus. Night of the crime, an employee from another bar tossed their trash out in this alley. Around 2 a.m. Didn't see anything out of the ordinary, though. In other words, Kume got dumped sometime between 2 and 6 a.m. when the body was found. Uh-huh. True. Trying to think of it, where are the victim's possessions? Like a wallet or a cell phone. Hold up. What the? Nothing was found in Kume's pockets. Where's his cock? No wallet, no phone, nothing. Bet the murderer broke the phone. Cops tried one of those find my phone things, but came up empty handed. Guess the killer at least tried to cover his tracks. You take a peek in the alley when you were over at Amor? Doubt there's any traces left at this point, but it's apparently just out the back. Anyway, this is Kume, just before he died. Before the killer took his eyes. Come on, don't say stuff like that. Why not? So what's the prosecution's angle on this? Well, try thinking about it in the context of the Tojo Kyori feud. Two other Kyori Yakuza turned up dead before this, each with their eyes gouged out. Not a far leap to assume the Tojo's responsible for all three murders. You follow? Good chance the murders are the result of a Tojo clan versus Kyori clan turf war. Yep, go on. All right, this is how the prosecution thinks it all went down. You get Frostbite. December 3rd, just around 9 o'clock, right out front of Club Amor. An argument breaks out between Captain Hamura of the Matsugane family and Kume and Murase of the Kyore clan. Hamura and his thugs drag Kume into the club, at which point Murase abandons Kume and flees the scene. Hummer then locks Kume in a moor for around an hour, while he and his boys beat the daylights out of the guy. Around 10 p.m., Hummer kicks everyone out, leaving only himself and Kume in the club. Up to that point, their story matches the camera footage and the testimony we have from the owner of a moor. Yep. The prosecution's story continues as follows. Once the two of them were alone, Hamura tortured Kume even more violently. Then, between 2 and 3 a.m., he drove a sharp weapon into Kume's eye, killing him instantly. Ugh. But did Once he? Once he finished gouging Kume's eyes out, Hamura dumped the body in the alley behind Amor. When questioned, Hamura said, me and Kume left Amor around midnight. I went for a steam right after. But since no evidence can back up that claim, the prosecution doubts its credibility. We're missing information. 6 a.m. on the morning of the 4th, Kume's body was found. And one week later, they arrested Hamura. So they've got three things. The camera footage, the blood stains in the club, and Hamura's Swiss cheese alibi. Swiss cheese. Any of those alone wouldn't be enough to get a conviction. But with all three, the prosecution thinks they've got this case in the bag. End of the day, to them, it's just Yakuza offing Yakuza. Guess there's a lot of reasons for them to suspect Hamura. Makes sense they'd see it that way. I'm more interested in what you think, though. Did Hamura actually kill Kume? I don't know. The guy rubs me the wrong way, yeah. But I'm pretty sure he's innocent. A cunning kind of Yakuza like Hamura wouldn't just offload the corpse in an alley like that. Too sloppy. If he really did it, forget about the eyes. You'd never even find the body. Agreed. That's Arshintani-sensei. Prickliest guy in town. But damn if he's not a terrific lawyer. That's him, boys. With you there. Um... Was that supposed to be a compliment? <laughs> what? Something wrong? If Hamra didn't do it, the 
person who did is still out there somewhere. <gasps> huh? We've just got to find them if we want to clear Hamura's name. Ha! Huh. You think we've got the manpower for that? Tracking down a criminal like that takes an entire organized front. Best leaving that to the cops, if you ask me. My only job here is defending Hamra. A lawyer's job is only to prove the reasonable doubt, not the defendant's innocence. To them, the truth is irrelevant. Then what's your next move? Ah, uh, gonna need some more info on the victim. Remember Kumi's buddy? The one who ran off when the Matsugani boys jumped him. Name's Akira Murase, from the Kyore clan. I want to hear what he has to say. About what? About what he did after he watched Kume get dragged into the club. Did he really just abandon his friend? It's hard to believe. He's right. No self-respecting Yakuza would run off and leave his buddy to die. Rase must have had at least attempted a rescue, but to find out for sure that would mean... Come on, man. Is this the time to go knocking on the Kyore clan's door? It sounds like suicide to me. I bet they're out for blood after what happened to Kume. One way or another, I want that info from Marase. Huh. <laughs> You're the ones who have to figure out how to get it. That's the deal, remember? The deal my ass. Poking a hornet's nest ain't gonna get us anything but stung. <laughs> He's right, though. Psst. Come on, Kaito-san. Fine. Buzz, buzz. Buzz, 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 buzz. First things first, we need to find out where the Kyore clan's hiding. They gotta have a base or something. Probably quickest to just go ask Matsugani-san. He's got all the real Tojo clan dirt. Oh, uh, I guess I'll pass. Can't exactly waltz in, being expelled and all. Yeah, I'll take care of this one by myself. I'll call you when I'm done. Okay. Head to the family office. Want a motherfucking game. Business trip. Here I go. Gonna hit up every soap land in the house. Million kiss lovers. Hold up, booba. Did I get those items from the fucking spying the game? Here, right this way. The Matsugane are an offshoot of the Tojo clan. Not the biggest Yakuza family on the block. They're a small branch that's low on the tree. Oh. But the family's patriarch, Mitsugu Matsugane, is like a father to me. And Kaito-san. Excuse me. Yagami-san's here to pay you a visit. Oh, so good to see you again, my boy. Hey, Dad. Now then, feels like ages since you last stopped by. Patriot Mitsugu Matagane. I know. I wonder why that is, huh? Could it be that you're the only one who's glad to see me? Well, you have a point there. How's Kaito these days? Staying out of trouble? He's okay. If not for that incident, he'd still be part of the family, you know. Hard to believe it's already been a year. Uh, the both of you are more or less the sons I never had. The past is what it is. True. But I'm glad to hear he's doing well. Under your watch. I'm sure Kaito-san will always feel like my Aniki. If not for you... Aniki? I would have taken another direction in life. I'd be a very different person, I think. You'd have turned out just fine, my boy. Excuse me. T. So then... Dude, thank you. What would drag you back to an office where you're not exactly welcome? Hamura is giving me some grief. Is he now? I was under the assumption Genda is handling the issue. Are you helping him out with the case now? Shintani's got me looking for the Kyori clan. I just need to find them, so I can ask him a few things. Not wise, my boy. You do know they're all up in arms right now. 
Sure you want this? Don't worry. I just want to have a word. Does the name the Kajihira Group mean anything to you? No. I can't say that it does. They're a Kansai outfit. It's... They've got a front in the city. The KJ Art Office down on Senrio Avenue. Be careful, though. There's Kyori crawling on every floor. These are Tojo Clan streets, but that's their turf now. Senrio Avenue. KJ Art, eh? I'll check it out. Eh? I know you're busy. Although, you think I could visit your office someday soon? Keep it on the down low? Yeah, of course. Eh? Hey. This guy. Kito-san. Just left the Matsugane office. The QRA are shacked up in some place called KJ Art. Huh. And that's where we'll find Morase? Not sure. We won't know if we don't check it out ourselves. You're thinking stakeout, huh? Sounds like the perfect time to give the drone a whirl. Yeah. That might be our only choice. Fingers crossed. Anyway, I'll see you over there. Why are the men raw? KJ Art. What's up? It's me. You at KJ Art yet? Looks like it. Where are you? I'm on the opposite roof. Look up. Where? <laughs> oh. You. Hey. The. F Hold up. What did I just hear? Where is that damn cat? Hmm. Ah! Oh, look, a cat. Hmm. There he is. That shirt's like a homing beacon. I see you. Be up in a sec. Do I go downstairs? No. Sorry. Skirt. Hey. Yo. Hell of a view, wouldn't you say? <laughs> Too bad the place is absolutely crawling with Yakuza. Guess this is the Kyore hideout after all. No doubt. And Marase? Couldn't find him. I looked pretty damn hard with the drone, too. You sure it was hard enough? Uh, sure. Sure? Come on. Let's try again. I'll fly it this time. When you want something done, do it yourself, right? Sure, you ass. <laughs> I need to pick flight on the drone. Take to the sky. This here is Marase. Wonder if we can just peek through the windows, see if we can find him. Did I just hear the cat again? I hear it. Where the fuck is the cat? Hold up. Cat! Where? Suspicious. Watch desk. Is this for the little grunts do their work? I don't see him. Hey. Blinds down. Can't see in. Gotta have to look somewhere else. Suspicious. Suspicious. What's with the book? Don't these guys have anything better to do? Where is this goddamn kitty? Suspicious. 
It's a fancy room. <gasps> Kitty. Oh, look, a cat. Oh my god, I can move in hella close. Surely it won't let me go in. Oh my god, I'm out of control. Oh! Party check, third floor, fourth uh, floor, with the guy at the guard. What did he say? Oh, wow, I've checked. Every floor. And he's nowhere to be fucking seen. Ow. Aha! Suspicious. Hold up, hold up. That's him. Kyoto Murase. Is he gonna shit? Oh. Wait inside. Let's try and figure out where to. Lion. Oh my god. Oh. Maybe don't fly in. Ow. Perhaps hmm. over here? Oh. Perhaps on a different floor. Not this way. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Hey. Hey, there he is. Well fucking done, man. Buzz, 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 buzz. Stop. There's an out of control drone yeah, outside our office, window, huh? guys. He must be important. Think they'd let us meet him? We wouldn't get past the front door. <laughs> Especially if we told him why we're here. We'll need to find another way in if we want to put the squeeze on Marase. Agreed. What are you thinking? Oh, there's a few options on the table. As for the best one. Disguise. Okay, disguise not gonna work. I could try scaling the side of the building, then climbing in through an open window. Do you even know how to scale a building? Besides, people see you doing it. Not to mention the bloodbath if someone spotted you. Okay. I guess so. Yeah. Let's kill that idea then. You got a plan B? I got two other plans. Maybe I could go undercover. Oh yeah? Who has? Uh -uh. I was thinking pizza delivery. Ooh! You ever seen a pizza guy get invited inside? Right. Forget the pizza. What about some kind of repairman? Now you're talking my language. Oh? They've got jumpsuits over at Don Quixote. Still, you can't show up and expect them to just let you stroll on in there. True, huh? True. I think I've got it. Huh? What would they do if the heater broke? Call a repairman, obviously. Are you suggesting we just wait till it breaks? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we could speed things up a bit. Never thought I'd see the day you came up with a plan like that. Who are you? And where'd you bury Tok's body? <laughs> if I told you, I'd have to kill you. Anyway, I'm gonna make things a little chilly for these KJ guys. You keep watch, okay? Sounds good. Let's do this shit. A little silly. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my god. That was fast. Nothing suspicious over here. Just walking like a normal dude. Oh fuck. Wasn't me. Damn, it's locked. Guess I'll have to pick it. Huh? Who's texting me? Cops are heading your way. Finish what you gotta do. Quick. Damn it, gotta hurry. On the unscrupulous picking of locks. It's time. So, 
Oh, I suck at this. What the f? What? Stupid thing. Shit. Oh, I suck at this. Oh, I'm like pushing too hard. I was like barely even using my analog stick. Almost there. Nice. That was fucking weird. That'll do it. <laughs> I, I literally barely touched it and it just went. Psh. All right, just have to kick. Oh my God. Kick. Kick. There, no way they're fixing that without a pro. Mm -mm, and I'm the pro. Now for my disguise. There's no way they heard the kicking of the heater about as fuck i think we need a repairman our heater got beat up by this random guy that walked up and then came back and looked like a repair guy work clothes arigato what the fuck do you want What's up? Checking in. You get the goods? Yeah, I'm heading back now. Better hurry. The plan's working. KJR's chilling out over here. They just called a repairman. Perfect. I'll be there as soon as I can. Oh, yes, I'm the repairman. But what happens when the second repairman shows up? He can't show up if he's dead. True. I'm ready. Kill the repairman. Okay, okay. Become repairman. Nice. I think this will work. I know you're in a disguise and all, but don't let your guard down, okay? Try to blend in. Who do you think you're talking to? Mr. Disguiso himself. Repairman is on duty! Sprints to your front door without even tools. I'm heading to a Yakuza hot bit. Need to make sure I don't break character. First things first, gotta get past reception. Hi there. I heard you're having some heater trouble. I'm here to fix it. Yes, it seems to have stopped. Thank you for coming on such short notice. The main unit is just out the door to the left, right around the emergency stairwell. Uh, mind if I take a look at an indoor unit as well? These things can be pretty complicated. Is that really necessary, sir? Uh-oh. It'll help me get a better idea of the whole system. I'd rather not bore you with the specifics. Very well, then. Sure. There's one in the security office to your left. Thank you very much. I'll have you guys heated up in no time. Bingo. Wait a sec. Who the hell is that guy? It's dark. I need to turn on the lights before I can look for the blueprints from the building. Turn on the lights. How is there a fucking cat in this fucking room? Uh huh. How do I turn on the lights, man? What? I'm literally looking at them. This is the light. Suspicious. Okay. Thank you. The control's so troll here. I see you. Oh, look, a cat. Meow. A a uh, boy. What the? Holy 
shit, this is incriminating. The building blueprints. Need a key to get to the stairs on the third floor. Won't be able to get to the room Marase's in. Gotta find a key somehow. This is a security room, so the key might be around here. I should take a look around. Obtain the key. Why wouldn't I be able to instantaneously find the key in the safe? In the laptop. Uh huh. In the tissues. It's gotta be obvious as fuck, no? I'm just blind. Well, 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 well. Although, I mean, the... Aha! Uh -huh. uh -huh. You left the key all out on the desk. You gotta keep it locked under high security. Put it away for you this time. You know what'll happen to you if you do it again. Guess the key's in this room somewhere. What did I say again? Locked under high security. Ah, now I can check the fucking safe. Or not. Hmm. Okay, there's probably some chain then. And this doesn't count. I think it's closer. Hey. I do. Wow, it's so secretive. <laughs> That's kind of weird that I had to do it in order. Was it 5038? Yeah. Oh my god! It's up the cat's ass? Oh god. Time to head for the fire escape. Should be the left of this room. They'll actually never know. Still broken. No real repairman in sight. Sorry, pal. I don't think you're getting fixed Just today. Just the guy I was looking for. Uh-oh. You're here to fix the heat, yeah? You got something I need you to check out. Oh, sure. No problem. Come on. This way. Oh? Shoot. I don't have a choice. <laughs> Freezing my balls off, man. Hope this goes quick. Your balls? What? Ugh. Too much information, man. What the fuck? I don't want to know about your balls. What's going on in here? Well, there oh. it is. Power's on and all, but nothing's happening. Okay. Let me see what I can do. Can't believe I'm doing this. Start roughing yep. it up. Yeah, this thing's seen better days. Thanks, Sherlock. Can you fix it? <laughs> Man, I have no idea how to fix a goddamn air conditioner. Hey, genius. If you're gonna fix it, don't you need to take the panel off first? No choice, but, but now to go all in. Uh... <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> Oh my god. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Hell yeah. Hey, what's that? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> well, ain't that something? Never realized it was that simple. Dude. Glad I could be of service. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have other repairs to make. <clears throat> what do you mean other repairs? It's all good. Huh? Who are you? Repairman. Oh, I'm uh, here to repair the heater, sir. Weird. You ain't the usual guy. Usual? They have a usual guy? How often do these heaters break down? There's our man, huh? Never had anyone else come for us. Oh, uh, about that. I was just here you faster. I'll just give him another call. See what's up for myself. So he's the one who put the call in. How can I get myself out of this? I got plastic surgery! 
<laughs> I'm just filling oh, in. The guy we normally send out here is sick today. I'm handling things in his place. Funny. I just got off the phone with him. Oh, God. It sounded an awful lot like he was on his way over. Well, that's odd. He must have gotten better, I guess. Damn it, he talked to the guy on the phone. Should have come up with something better. Wow, that was wrong? This guy's suspicious as shit. I bet he's a Tojo spy. Oh, shit, you're right. Come on, boys, let's take him down. Oh, fuck. Holy fucking, oh my god. <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> Get that shit out the hand. Oh my, he's in the. <laughs> oh 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 I won. <laughs> I broke everything. <laughs> Whoo, made it out. I should uh, get moving before the building catches on me. The building? Wait, the building is suspicious of me? Looks like it's locked. Wait, that third floor key I found in the security office. That might just do the trick. Master the keys to unlocking. Simply using the correct key is one method of opening a locked door. I think I only have two keys. A literal key mechanic. Stupid thing. Ah. Got it. Okay. I chose the wrong one. Hmm. The door wasn't on the map. Why are the accused offices always so confusing? Either way, the key from before won't work up here. Guess I'll have to pick the lock. Almost there. Nice. That'll do it. Hey. What the f what is that? There aren't any stairs up. This isn't the top floor though. Huh. Need to find a way up to Morase. What is that? Oh. Stamina X. I'll need a code. I think this is a warehouse. Might be something useful. I know what the code is, but I can try pushing some buttons. Uh, why would I? Okay. I guess it lets me try. Ooh. Okay. Hey, I saw him. Why are there so many fucking dudes? Start at zero 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 zero. Dumbass. We warned you this was gonna happen. Please, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh my god. He's getting his ass kicked. How am I gonna get past them? They're right there. What the fuck? What the hell you doing? Who the fuck? I'm the repairman. Oh! 
Never mind. I'm here to kick your ass. Oh, wait. Don't kill the guy. <laughs> he fucking came his pants. Wait, they just got up. What? Boom! And two more? Hiya! Ow! You little bitch. Got him. What a waste. Just went to work today and got beat up by the repairman. <laughs> Just get the hell out of here. Huh? But. Son? But I got a call about a broken heater. I told you. We figured it out. All fixed. Nothing to see here. Can I at least check to make sure everything's okay? Oh, and I'll need you to sign this too. I'm not signing shit. You didn't even fix anything. Now get the hell out of here. Uh, actually, could I borrow your restroom? I'm not feeling so good. Oh, shit yourself for all I care. <laughs> what? <laughs> Almost there. Hold that a little longer, kind of son. All right, you're down. I'm looking a little low on HP. Perhaps something like a medical kit? Thank you. Go shit yourself. All this hey, just to get an interview? Who the hell are you? With Murase. Shh. I'm just here to talk, Murase-san. Look, I risked my life to get in here. Just... I don't have to do shit. You can't boss a Yakuza around! Oh, my God. It's time, bitch! What the... Ow. What the f- Oh my god. What the f- oh! Bring it, bitch. I'm trying to use my cool new move. Fucking my balls! Oh! I don't even know this is coming. No, not the wooden stick. Mortal wounds. You will receive a mortal wound when stabbed, shot, or hit with deadly attacks. Perform my enemies with intense auras. 
After joining the EX gauge, press R2 to activate EX boost. Oh my god. Give me the fucking... I'M BLOCKING! A little bit of HP? Oh ho ho! No! Wait, he killed me. Ow. Here we go. Now we smash and... Let's fucking go. Round two. Yeah, yeah, I already know. Ooh, ooh, ha, he, oh. That's right, bitch. Get on the fucking floor. Ow. Ow. Get off me. What, why am I falling? Ah! Wait, is it? I, ch Me blocking from the back is actually super troll. Now fuck this guy. There we go. <laughs> okay, using R1 to focus on him feels like shit. I don't know why. What the hell are you after, huh? I already said, I just want to talk. Look at this. This is you running away after abandoning Kume. Who do you think you are? I'm a local detective. Hamura's lawyer is having me look into Kume's murder. So what? You're defending Hamura? You think I'm gonna tell you shit, asshole? <laughs> I thought we already negotiated. You want to go again? Round two, pussy? You're not getting out of this unscathed, you know. I know your face now. Mm, I already got plastic surgery, Do bitch. you really think Hamura killed Kume? Of course I do. Who else could have done it? That's what I'm trying to find out. I need to know what happened that night. <sighs> it's as clear as day. Hamura gouged Kume's eyes out. End of story. Yeah? Where? How? In the dump behind a moor. Bastard tortured Kume to death. Actually, the murder happened somewhere else. And I have the evidence to prove it. <laughs> Whips out his phone. Starts thinking for at least ten minutes. Yes. Take a look at this. Show him a what dank Mimi. That's Kume. That's right. There's a hint in this picture. Kume's body was moved here after he died. There was something in this picture ah, that showed that. Yo, Bob, thanks. What's up? 
suspicious. What the? Unlocked. No signs of blood. That's it. Sorry. I'm sure this is tough to look at. But as you can see, there's almost no blood around his body. That means he was killed somewhere else, then transported to the alleyway. Oh, I guess so, huh? Mm, doesn't add up, does it? So, you ready to talk now? <sighs> huh. I think I can finally get to the main topic okay, now. Okay, let's take it from the top. Now, after you ran away from Amor, where exactly did you go? You couldn't just let them take Kume, could you? Yeah, I had to do something. So, I went to round up the rest of the clan. We had to take Kume back. But nobody would help, would they? You kidding? Of course they helped. We burst in there ready to bust heads. When? But I thought nobody else went in or out of Amor. What? You mean because the camera didn't see anyone? Yeah. <laughs> Funny thing that. Turns out you can't get seen if the camera's broken. The back alley was our ticket in. The back alley! So you really went inside? Yep. Not a soul in the house, though. Trust me, we searched the whole damn joint. And when was that? Just after midnight, I suppose. Right when the prosecution says Hamura was laying into Kume. If you're telling the truth, that's a clear contradiction. Huh. Who gives a shit what the prosecution says? Hamura killed Kume, and that's that. Ain't no other way. Maybe so. But the police still need to hear your story. If you could just testify to that... You gotta be kidding me. Why the fuck would I do that, huh? Can't force him to testify. Nothing I can do about that. Yeah, it was worth a try. <laughs> uh, well, I tried. No, oh, I guess he's... Fuck! <laughs> nice work. So Murase busts into a moor. And who does he find? Absolutely nobody. Yep, Captain Hamura said he kicked Kume out and hit the sauna right around midnight. The stories match up. You really think he's innocent? Not sure. Our next step is finding proof he was at that sauna. Guess that's that. Well, I'm pooped. How about we call it here for tonight? Yeah, good call. I'll see you tomorrow, Kaito-san. Man, I'm pooped. Poop. <laughs> Murase saw your face, yeah? You should be careful around town. Rest up, brother. Rest up. Rest easy, partner. This will be a perfect time to stop. After I kick these fucking losers' asses! 